If we think of big animals now, then our imagination takes us to sub-Saharan Africa with elephants, giraffe, and hippo. Yet travel back a mere blink of the eye and monster mammals roamed across almost all of Earth's continents. Now imagine taking a helicopter to an island, only to be ambushed by a massive King Kong, standing more than 100 feet tall and weighing 158 tons. That's a big monkey. But is it really possible for an animal to get that big? Would it have the strength to crush helicopters in its hands, or would it merely collapse under its own weight? This is Googleplex, and here is how big a land animal can get. The size of a land animal is restricted by the action of gravity on its bones and their ability to support the rest of the animal. As size increases, bones must become stronger and thicker, muscles must become more powerful, and the heart must work harder to pump blood around the body. In fact, this is where the most insurmountable biological limits seem to be. Longer muscles, for example, can exert no greater force than shorter ones. Larger hearts produce proportionately less power. But if you took an animal and blew it up in size, mathematics dictates that the creature's mass would increase to the power of three, while muscle forces and bone strength would increase to the power of two. This means that if King Kong was 100 feet tall, he would likely collapse under his own weight. Mammalian skeletons are simply not materially strong enough to withstand the gravitational pressure. You find larger animals in the ocean, such as blue whales, because gravity isn't a factor there. They can grow up to 30 meters, weigh 150 tons, and have arteries so wide that you could swim through them. Similarly, it's possible that on a planet with lower gravity than Earth's, such as Mars, terrestrial creatures less encumbered by their loads could grow much larger. So it's no surprise that Earth's biggest terrestrial animals, elephants, today fall far short of King Kong's size. African elephants, for instance, can reach about 13 feet tall and weigh up to 7.5 tons. In the past, however, life got far larger. Dinosaurs like Titanosaur weighed in at nearly 80 tons. The reason has to do with the fact that dinosaurs were reptiles, and today we live in an age dominated by mammals. To maintain their higher body temperatures, warm-blooded mammals spend about 10 times more energy than cold-blooded reptiles do on their metabolisms. This is energy that a mammal can't devote to increasing its body size. But there's another major factor that limits an animal size, food. A 158-ton ape is going to need a lot of food to support itself. For this reason, many of the largest animals were actually herbivores. With today's measly atmospheric oxygen levels, it's not clear whether Kong would be able to breathe fast enough to respire sufficiently in order to stay conscious. Chances are he'd run around for a bit before passing out and collapsing. In the time of the dinosaurs, there was a much higher concentration of atmospheric oxygen, so it was easier to get the required oxygen. So if King Kong could exist on Earth in its present size, its muscle tissue and bones would have to be made of some kind of alien supermaterial, or natural selection would have to develop some very novel physiological strategies. Every time you think that life can't do something, it often figures out ways to do it. Life surprises us in all kinds of ways. What do you think? Can King Kong exist in real life or not? Give us your thoughts in the comment section and don't forget to give this video a like and share it with your friends and click subscribe to stay with Googleplex.